So I'm now around two weeks in to using, a little bit over two weeks of using the Surface Duo 1 as my daily driver again. And honestly, I'll be honest with you. When I went into this process, I thought to myself, okay, 30 days with this phone again is going to be a chore. It's going to be annoying. It's going to be bugging. I'm going to literally do this for the, this series, and I'm never going to touch this phone again as my daily driver. Because for the longest time, this phone right here has been my secondary device. It's always been my part two to my Galaxy Z Fold 3. That's how I've been rocking this. That's how I've been using this phone. And, you know, it was my daily driver when it first came out, when I first got it. But since then, especially since Z Fold 3, I really just haven't found a phone that I love more than Z Fold 3. I will say, though, and I've said this in every single one of these view videos so far, these last two weeks with Android 11 has absolutely changed my mind on this phone. And I've seen so many people comment down below and tell me, Oh my God, I lost your review. I picked this phone up for like $400 on eBay. And I absolutely love this phone. This phone is one of my favorite phones ever. And to be honest, I couldn't recommend it even enough. I couldn't recommend this phone enough. After two weeks of using it, a phone that came out over a year ago, almost over two years ago at this point, What's my opinion of it with Android 11 after two weeks? I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back after 30 days to my regular phone. I absolutely love this phone. And you might say, well, that's a little exaggeration because obviously you do. You love the Z Fold 3, right? And obviously you love a lot of different features. All the features I love on Z Fold 3, don't get me wrong, I do love the Z Fold 3. But wireless charging isn't really a big deal for me with this phone. I have a MagSafe port I have on this phone. The charging port breaking, I literally have a MagSafe port all the time in this phone, always, so that charging port doesn't get touched. Not only that, that also helps with water resistance because no water can get in there now. Other than that, NFC, I really have not been having much of an issue with that. I have a Galaxy Watch, and I just click on it, and bam, it does NFC. Like, there's... Every issue that people have had with this phone and the bezels, I've never had an issue with. That's one thing I will say about this phone that a lot of people have had issues with was the bezels. It's like, oh, the bezels, I can't do the bezels. The bezels are too insane for me. The bezels, they just don't work for me. Me personally, I have no issue with the bezels. The bezels, if anything, are just kind of there and they don't really bother me. Now, you know, having a hinge down in the middle, I guess after using these phones for two and a half or well, a year and a half at this point, I'm just used to them. I'm used to the little you know, crease down the middle. I'm used to the hinge down the middle. I'm used to all this kind of stuff. And I would love to one day use the Oppo's Finding 5G and kind of see how that creaseless display works. Uh, but for this moment in time, I just don't really see much of an issue when it comes to, you know, this phone. And again, like I said, if you have not picked it up already, I couldn't stress this enough. Go to eBay.com, look up the correct sellers, meaning the reviews and all that kind of stuff. Give it a try. Just pick it up and give it a try. See how you like it. And I promise you won't be disappointed. I mean, there's not much I can say about this phone that isn't going to blow you away. Because first off, you, let me go ahead and just break this down. Because you guys already probably know about the Surface Duo. I've watched my content. You guys already know about Surface Duo. But first off, you're going to get a great battery. This thing has an amazing battery. I am not... <laughs> I have been so, so presently surprised. And that's the one thing I was scared about. When Android 11 got updated, I was really scared about how the battery life would impact it. Because so far, before Android 11, this thing was a buggy, a little bit of a buggy mess, but it had a really good battery still. And usually when things get updated, the batteries get worse. And obviously over time, but especially when you get updates, right? Because updates like Android 11, you had a lot of new features in the background, a lot of security features, a lot of new advances that, you know, might still be running in the background and you don't even know about it and use up your battery. Android 12 is like the king of that. <laughs> Android 12 is the king of giving us background stuff that we really just used up your battery nonstop, which I don't really care too much but that's what i was scared about and i have no issue with that at all i have no issue with it going ahead and using up my battery or messing up my battery another thing i've been using the duo 2's case on this phone the um out of box case i'm gonna make a video about that breaking that down showing you how it looks um it's good it's it's yeah it's um 
It's not the best. So I've been kind of trying. I, I tried it out. I won't say I tried. It. I won't say using. I tried it out and it wasn't the best. I'll make a video breaking that down. Uh, but I've been using the pen cover case as you guys seen in many of my videos on this case. And I absolutely love the pen cover. You know, I bought it for the Duo 2, but I've actually been using on the Duo 1 more or less every single day. And it's really, truly amazing. Uh, if you go ahead and put your Surface Pen at the end there, it literally does not move no matter what. I mean, you literally, this the pen cover, you put this at the end, you could hit it like this and it won't fly off. And I've been doing that all the freaking time because you guys do not know I am still in college. I am doing college daily. And when I go to college, I love having this device. You know, uh, for the longest time, the Z Fold 3 was my daily driver going to college. And it was nice because, you know, obviously I had Samsung Dex, but I can't use Samsung Dex in college. So, you know, it's nice to just bring out a laptop like this. One screen, the laptop, the, I mean, one screen, the keyboard, one screen, the actual laptop. And being able to do that and a lot of times i'll bring i've showed you many videos before i'll bring my foldable keyboard and i'll just go ahead and set my mouse set this up perfectly fine and there's no issue at all and again the bezels even though yes it's less screen real estate it's not a big deal especially for college the, how i use so much for college is that um you know the refresh rate doesn't matter i'm not watching videos i'm not doing all the kind of stuff i'm literally taking notes and doing notepads that's all i'm doing and for Excel sheets, PowerPoints, I mean, I can literally, instead of going home or going somewhere and have to pull out a gigantic laptop, I just pull out this phone right here in my pocket. I set it up on a bench somewhere, on a table somewhere, start typing away up literally a whole entire paper. And this has gotten me through college so much quicker. And, you know, when I first picked this phone up was when I was in college. So it kind of all transitioned perfectly fine, especially with the use of using Microsoft Office and spreadsheet and all that kind of stuff. It just fluently works with this device so freaking much. You know, not every single application is going to be perfectly optimized for this device. That's just how it is. But Microsoft applications, absolutely flawless with this device, which absolutely makes sense. At the same time, it just works so, so beautifully. And I gotta say, overall wise, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see Android 12 out on this device. And I really do truly believe this is the greatest comeback of any phone company when it comes to the phones. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh, you're just exaggerating, not exaggerating. I really truly believe that because you had a phone that was the biggest flop of probably the whole entire Microsoft's campaign of phones. I mean, it could have been the biggest flop in recent phone history, in all honesty. This was one of the most highly styled phones possible. Comes out with Acro Media. Absolutely flops. They had to switch to Android a, a tenth the last second. That flops because it's so buggy. Takes forever to go ahead and actually get it fixed and, you know, perfected. Gets a price cut. A cut. Microsoft gives up on it. They come back because of popular demand. They give us Android 11. This Android 11 fixes this device in every way possible. And now 12L is just going to even perfect that even more. So overall wise, you know, I'm excited to see what the future will hold, but I'm probably not going to go back to my other phone after 30 days. I mean, I still have 12, what, what 16 days left of this phone, a lot less than 16 days now, but I'm probably just going to stay with it. I really have fallen back in love with this device. It's so small. It's so, you know, just beautiful. And, and again, like I said before, you know, I love the Duo 2, don't get me wrong, I use the Duo 2 too. Duo 2 now has been my secondary device to this phone. My Duo 2 is my secondary device to this phone. How ironic is that? Uh, but, you know, the Duo 2 has that gigantic camera bump and it just doesn't work out for me. And the flushness of this phone, when I put this phone down on the table, I don't. it doesn't wobble back and forth. When I put the Z Fold 3 or the Duo 2 on the table, it wobbles back and forth. It's a wobbling mess. And this phone isn't. This phone is flush. This phone is crisp. And, you know, I fell in love with this design. Everyone, every single person who's ever picked up this phone has fallen in love with the design of this phone. The hardware is amazing. It's always been the software. The hardware is amazing. And I fell in love with it. And every time I use it, I fall in love with it even more and more and more and more. And, you know, I will say that, you know, the pen cover, if anything, another thing that I love about it, it gives you that kind of, you know, thin type of you know relaxed type of look to it and that is a w in my opinion and again like i said i might just i might be talking to the masses here where everyone has the same opinion but you know you guys already know i do love the duo this is the og phone that really just absolutely was the phone i fell in love with 
Guys, if you did enjoy this video, though, make sure to like and subscribe button down below. Tell me your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.